Introduce yourself, who you are, what do you do, and where you from. Man, it's the boy Jay Stallion, man. You know how we do this, man. I'm from West Oakland, California. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. So, um, real quick, I got some questions that some fans are trying to ask you. And probably some fans come. Let's go. He's live. Hello. That's live wire right there. Get back in a minute. Come to parking lot B. Parking lot B. B, yeah, B3. B, yeah, like A, B. Oh, that's bad. Go outside get the niggas. All right. So now we're going to get to these questions right here. As the owner of Livewire, are you still doing anything with Zoo Entertainment and Town Business? Yeah, uh, Town Business was a, a, a sub label that we did mm -hmm. under SMC. Yes. So SMC folded. So mm -hmm. we really ain't doing the Town Business no more. But the CEO of Town Business, Stretch, is still my manager. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Me and him, we still work together, but we just not doing town business no more. And mm. uh, yeah, I still work with the mechanics. Mm. You know, Zoo Entertainment, that's a subdivision of Livewire. So, mm. you know, we always going to work together. Oh, okay, for sure. So, um, you, uh, when did Livewire get created? Was that your own connect, own um, label you started yourself? Yeah, I, I started Livewire, and as it got bigger, I brought in, you know, the other, like me, me mm -hmm. and Shady, Shady Nate. Me and Shady, you mm -hmm. feel me? We started it, you know, and as, yeah. it, as it got bigger, we brought in the 50 Riches and the Stevie Joes and the Little Retros mm -hmm. and Kiwis and, you know. The people on the label. Yeah, the Little Bloods, everybody. Uh-huh, for sure. Okay, so what is the um, the hardest thing you had to go through uh, coming out of Oakland, California? Temptation. <laughs> Why is that? Temptation is the hardest thing you're going to deal with in California, in Oakland, because, you know, like, you might want to kill somebody, you mm -hmm. feel me? But, you know, you got to you gotta think of the bigger picture, you know? Yeah. And, you know, like, you see all your friends selling drugs, you know, some of them young. When I was in the, when I was in high school, I had friends, you know, in high school selling drugs, mm -hmm. driving to school, 14, 15 years old, driving to school. So, you know. Wow. <laughs> I seen that and I wanted some of that money too. So, you know, like. Get, getting into money, man. Um, How did you get into hustling candy bars at the bar? Uh, my homies was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why did you? Why did you um, hustle candy bars? Or is that? How did you get into that? Because they were your, your buddies. They, 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 they used to come to school with uh -huh. a pocket full of money, and I'm like, how y'all got that? I know your mama ain't gave you that. <laughs> like, yeah, we be selling candy after school. Like, hey, how old I need was to you? go with y'all. <laughs> how old was you when you when you started doing that? Uh, probably like twelve. Twelve. Wow. So you was on board hustling candy bars. Um, that's what's up. Making two hundred dollars a day at twelve years old. Wow, that's dope, man. Um, that that's hustling right there. Um, how did you get into selling records and um, recording records, music? I always love music. Like I always been a fan of music. Like all my family members and close friends and people I went to school with that know me, like they know. Like even before I was rapping, like. I always kept some headphones on, you mm -hmm. know, with a big old pouch full of CDs. Mm -hmm. Like, I was the music man. Music but man. instead of selling CDs, I was buying all the CDs, <laughs> listening to them. Okay. Like, all my friends knew. Like, I had every CD they wanted to listen to. Like, mm -hmm. if they needed anything, you know, like, wow. the new Tupac, the Jay-Z, the Big E, Snoop, whatever. I had it all. You had, wow. So, and what age were you at this time selling and recording? talking about like I, I've been loving music all my life like on a professional extent like actually putting music out and selling it and oh shit I started that and you know my first CD hit the stores for sale mm -hmm. in 2006 2006 yeah. that's what's up so um okay most definitely how, how did how did you get the name Jay Stallion Joseph Stalin, the dictator. <laughs> I had to do a, um, I had to, I had to uh, do a history paper on him when I was in the eleventh grade. Oh wow! So I was just reading up on him, and you know we got the same initials. My initials is JS too. Mm -hmm. He was only five two. He was short like me. Yeah. You know, so you know what I'm saying. I like, despite all the killing he did, I liked the, 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 the structure that he built and what he stood for. Mm. You know. 
so I took that persona. That yeah, okay. And then and I, I read something that like you was like saying that you you're you small and and you're smashing on everybody like how he is or something like that. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm little man. I'm smashing. <laughs> Okay, that's what's up. So, um, another question. Um, what's your most memorable moment in your career so far? My most memorable moment in my career was seeing my seeing the smile on my mama's face when mm. she saw me on MTV. Wow. How 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 was that? It's priceless. <laughs> most definitely. How did you how did you um how did you get connected with getting on MTV like that? Uh, my manager then did it. Will mm. Stretch. You gotta yeah. Yeah. Um. Your your company's so big. Um, Livewire is like huge, man, and, and it's like you're everywhere with it. How did you um, build a, a network like that big? You know, because I mean, oh boy, is from Ohio, right? Yeah, that's my boy. And then you're just like, I, I see you in other countries and um, states, and you're doing all these shows everywhere, man. Like, how are you doing all that? Hard work, and consistency. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, stay consistent. When you travel through these new spots and meet these cities. Mm. I'm saying meet these new people you feel me like that's that's my homie from ohio you know yeah. like shout out to p hustle he's, he's sitting right here yeah you know what i'm saying <laughs> like I'm, i i met him through the music and you know and right now you know what i'm saying it's like we we like family you feel yeah. me i fly out to ohio go out there kick it with him he fly out here kick it with me you know yeah, yeah. we just young and having fun yeah getting money. that's what's up so um what is your most favorite place you've been to because you've been everywhere but give me like your top three uh, uh, dopest places that you performed or uh, been at? Uh, my favorite, my the, my favorite show I did was a show in Tulsa, Why? Tulsa, Oklahoma, because it just was packed and they just was they was loving my music and mm -hmm. that was like, you know, like it was it was a, it was a surprise mm -hmm. to me to mm -hmm. see their reaction. Yeah come from so far away. Wow. You know, like Tulsa, Oklahoma, that's a long way. Yeah, they got tornadoes out yeah, there, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. Like Arab, it was like 2,000 people in the building. Were they singing your lyrics? They singing my words, word for word. Oh, how does that feel to be in another area and they're singing your songs and they know it, your word for word? It's feel good, it feel, <laughs> it feel, it, it make you want to keep doing it, you know? Yeah. It, it lets you know you, you're doing it for a purpose. It lets mm. you know everything you're doing is real. That's what's up. How did you get connected with Richie Rich? And um, how did you get on his album? You wanna take a break? Get the door, you wanna get that phone? We'll be right back. Bro, I'm doing an interview for the radio, bro. You gotta call me back in about 30 minutes. Hello? Yeah, fuck you been doing push-ups now. <laughs> you serious, huh? You really have, huh? You hella big, boy. What's up yeah. with my nigga? What's up, man? Shit. What's up, man? Shit. Doing this work? 